Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today, it is all about fall decor, and we are in full swing getting things together. I want to share with you guys this fabulous entry haul and how it was created and give you some tips and tricks that you can use for your home decor. Currently, I'm cleaning the old rug that will be removed from this space, but I store my rug, so I clean them first, vacuum it up, and sometimes I'll even actually take it and have the rug professionally cleaned so that I'm able to use it in a different setting. So that is what you're looking at. I'm rolling the rug up, getting it ready for storage. Now I will lay down this gorgeous new rug. It's not new to me, it's new to the space. This rug was in the living room prior and I absolutely love it. It is a neutral earth tone and it has some pattern on it, but it's really kind of muted gold, gray, and so it has all the colors that I need for decorating this new space. These chairs are not new. I have repurposed them again and they're super, super old. Enjoy the video and until next time, make every day a great day. Let's talk about these gorgeous chairs as I unwrap them. I have had these chairs for at least 30 years. They've been multiple colors. I'm not going to get rid of them. When I'm tired of it, and they've been in different areas of the house, when I am tired of the chair, I literally just take it to storage and leave it there. The fabric that was on before, it's always pretty much a light colored fabric. The fabric that I had on before was light colored and it was popular at the time. But what gets me for this chair is the shape of the chair. This is what you call a very traditional type chair and I'll show you guys why it's traditional for several reasons. Usually with tradition you have anywhere of some type of scroll type pattern. This is a queen and type chair with the crawl feet. I haven't changed the color of the wood. The wood is the original color and I simply love this chair. It is such a comfortable chair. It is a statement piece. Like I said, I never get rid of them. At best case scenario, the only thing that I will do is reupholster them. I'm very much trying to save the plastic so that I can reuse it and repurpose it. I needed a table, a new table in between the two chairs, but I didn't want to go out and buy something. So I literally, I took this planner base that I had in this space and I'll insert some images of how I used it before and I said this is the perfect size that I need and I like it because it's a unique piece and it's very modern contemporary made of metal but it does have a texture finish And I always need some kind of table here. But then I said, okay, well, I really don't have a tabletop. Guess what I thought about? I am taking this Lazy Susan and I'm actually going to place it on top just like so. And it's gorgeous. It's perfect. The size is 
perfect for what I need this to be. I'm being gentle with these shares because I haven't sprayed them yet. So I definitely don't want to get anything on there, but I will be spraying them after I'm done. The only thing I'm going to add today in this space, I believe are going to be the simply loving how everything is coming together. Let's take this off. It's unbelievable how you can take a space and just move things around and get a complete new concept. The wall art is, has been here forever. It's, <laughs> it's literally nailed into the wall. So I need to get a professional in here to find the screws and to take that down when I do decide. But it's such a neutral tone, color, and the framing is solid wood, it's, it's fine. It's a contemporary transitional piece. I've had it, I don't know how many years it's been hanging there. So since it's a neutral piece and it's a warm tone, the floors are warm, I have not changed the floors. The only thing that I'm doing is adding different elements. I'm bringing back in this warm tone, soft, neutral, tone on tone rug. And then I brought in my chairs that I've had for maybe 30 years. I love these chairs. They are simply just gorgeous. So now I need a lamp in this space. And what I had before was super tall. I don't want to play something tall. I want to have a juxtaposition with what's going on with the back of the armchairs and the lamp itself. There will be a juxtaposition from this piece, which is very contemporary. It's metal. It's next to something that is traditional. These chairs are uber traditional. The rug is transitional. If you want to talk about decor styles, this is what I'm literally working with. And then we've got something that could be considered modern, but I'm gonna say it's transitional in reference to the wall art. All right, let's bring in a lamp. When I saw this lamp, I thought I was going to die. It is simply gorgeous. Just get a load of the shape. It's just gorgeous. Now, I saw this at a local home goods. And I don't know the make, but I'm almost certain it's a dupe of something, of the real deal. But this is super heavy, super weighted. It's ceramic. And then it's got an acrylic base, which I love. This lamp will be on a timer. I haven't screwed it in yet. Look at this color. It's everything that I'm working with for this season. It's dead on. That caramel mocha. <laughs> You talk about something coming back in in style again. This is something I want to say since 2010 or 09, I had this up. So it's almost, what is that, 20 years that I've had this wall art. So if you choose the right wall art, you could have it for years and years and years to come. Get this lampshade on here. Oh. That's gorgeous. Woo! <laughs> She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love her. She is so gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. I'm gonna turn this around because when I turn the light on, the, okay, so let me show you guys what I was looking at. This is where the lampshade ends. It's an extra layer of fabric, but when you turn the light on, you're going to see that. I do want to add a little candle because I like a candle in the entryway. I have plug-ins that I will plug in to, into an area and you can't see where that plug-in is located, but I also like to have candles up. This is so neutral. It is so neutral tone. Whatever color I bring in here, I can bring blue, purple, pink, terracotta, which I'm bringing in a gorgeous orange terracotta for the fall season. And it's an orange and a brown. I'll show you guys that. These pillows will be available on the website. The floral will be available on the website. Just bear with me. 
but we're in the process now. By the time this video comes up, it should be available for you guys to click. It will be first come, first serve. That's pretty much how it works. I need a candle here. So let's see. This candle smells so good. I think I will sit it here. There is a top to it. That is divine. And I'll sit it just like this. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I am in love with this lamp. Let's put the pillows on. And I think that might be it for today for this area here. I do want to put something in this corner, but I'm not sure what I want because it all has to kind of like make sense with what's going on. It's the overall total view when you open this door has to work. All right, there was a debate all of 2023 and 2024 about luxury, quiet luxury, loud luxury. How about the key word is luxury and I am here for it. Anything luxurious is what I am here for. This to me is luxurious, gorgeous. I, it just makes my heart sing when I see this put together with the white and the caramel tone colors keeping it simplistic, having a little bit of a pattern because I love a pattern. Having said that, since this is for the fall, I am going to introduce to you guys, ta-da! <laughs> we need to give her a name. I haven't yet. She is gorgeous. Woo! This pillow is to die for. It's an orange, but it's kind of got a burnt rust pattern. And it has the mocha gray. It's a taupey gray. And we've got piping around the entire pillow. This is simply adorable for everything that's going on in this space for fall and like I say because I have so much white in this space I can pretty much put any color pillow that I want. I put this Sherling pillow in the living room and wow if I wanted to keep it simplistic and just so I want to say baseline and mute it, I would use the Sherling, but I want it to add a little bit more of a pop of color. And my pop of color is going to be this terracotta orange for this season. And mixing that with the floral that I am adding to this area is just stunning, absolutely stunning. So I've pretty much curated each room for this new season. The entry hall is gonna take me through to, to the Christmas season, and that's why I don't have anything over here because I know what I'm taking to this area for Christmas. The chairs do not need to move. So that's the thing about what I've decided to do for this, the tables, I'm sorry, the chairs, the sofas, uh, some of the swivel chairs, none of that's moving. I wanna keep it in position and then just usher Christmas in. For instance, this will stay just like this and if I wanted to add a tree here, I have space to add a tree in this area or if I wanted to add another tree. So I could literally have two trees in my entry, trees on that side and it would be a winter wonderland again. All right, this, this is it. I'm gonna stop this for today. I'll pick up tomorrow with the remaining area of this entry, but uh, she's gorgeous. going to finish this entry hall and so far it is stunning. I have my 
gorgeous pillows that I'm bringing in, the tan lamp, it's stunning. So this side, I'm not really placing a lot of furniture pieces here for fall this year because I wanna leave this open so that when you walk in the door, you see fabulosity. I wanna do some wall art there. And this is just a gorgeous piece. What I like about it is the color, the frame is bronzy. We're using a lot of the bronze tones and gold tones with darker enhancement. This tree is just, it just screams fall to me. Not really fall, but winter. So I do want to hang it here, and I'm really just eyeballing it, but I think that's perfect. That looks so divine. I do need to address this corner area just to balance what's going on over here, balancing it just a little bit so that when you're looking at this space from all angles, your eye is pleased and you see beauty and pleasure. This is the pedestal that I painted and I've had it for some time. I use it as the pedestal for a sofa table in the living room. So you guys will see that video a little bit later, but I believe this one's coming up first. This is so old. I've had this for, it's, you guys, if you remember the old Bombay, this is where the Bombay store, this is where that came from. I wanted to enhance the top of it. So I went to Home Depot and just got a round circular board. I only painted one side of it because I was in a hurry. And to me, that just elevates it. I'm giving it a landing. Since I removed the furniture from this side, there was a long bench over here. I still wanted to create a moment for this side of the entry hall. So I am going to place this vase right there, like so. Isn't she gorgeous? Can't you guys already see what it is I'm going to do, what this can become. And I love this because this can become something gorgeous. I can put a, a floral arrangement, which I'm going to do today, or I can put a vessel, anything that I want to place on here just to give this area a complete moment as a 360. So literally all I've done is just bunch up a group of floral just bunch it up and I will place it inside. They are the same size, but some of them need to be bent just so they look a little bit neater. Well, I haven't even really opened any of them up, but this is a moment. I will place this marble. I use these for different things. Sometimes I put a candle inside of it. Um, right now I'll have keys inside of this, but I will place it right here. I love that. So I'm loving all of this open space. I'm just loving it. <laughs> It is just so open. I don't know what I was doing before or I had the uh, armoire server on this side and then I had furniture here, but I just love the, the fact that it's just so wide and it's open, but yet it's still stylish and it's me. All of this is totally me. Now there's one more area that I wanna finish in the entry and we're gonna get to that right now. Okay, yes. I did it. <laughs> I have taken a table from the side walls and I've placed it in the middle of this entry. This table was in the living room. It's been many colors. Currently it's white. I love the white. It has a mirror top. I use this table all the time. This used to be a dining room table. Yeah, this was it. It was a dining room table that was chair height. I had it chopped down and it was counter height. It still is counter height or bar height. I can't remember how, which one it was, but this used to be a dining room table. If I can find some images, I will show you guys. 
This is, I've had this table at least over 20 years. I will never get rid of it because it serves its purpose. I can put a larger, actually the tabletop that was on top of here was round. This is the tabletop. This tabletop that I'm currently using for the dining room set on top of here and you could easily get eight to ten people around this table so I'm repurposing it and I'm using it in this entry hall but you guys know that I can't just have a small table in my entry hall I've got to do a little bit extra and I just love the white in front of the black dining room and it just sets the tone it says hello vase I've had for a long time as well but it has a crackled finish on it it's just gorgeous I keep it in the house I use it all the time I can very well leave that vase on top of the table and it's a moment in itself and then just accent with gorgeous things around the table it would be a moment by itself yeah however I'm going to do something a little bit different because it is fall season and I want to introduce you guys to some gorgeous new stems. So I will take this off and I believe I'm going to sit it there for now. Say hello to Tanji. We're going to call her Tanji. Ooh. <laughs> She's gorgeous! Oh my gosh, I couldn't have made a better floral arrangement. Would you look at these stems? I mean, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm so excited and I'm not through with this. I'm gonna add a couple of more pieces. I gotta step back. Wow, 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 wow. This might be here for ever just absolutely stunning with this crackled vase i've added these brown stems that i got from hobby lobby I'm, <laughs> I'm tickled i can put any color that i want can you imagine what this is going to look like for spring and it's almost like a peekaboo effect right because you can see through to the dining room, but you really can't see through to the dining room. Let me get some more of these and I wanna finish this floral arrangement. Stunning! All right, I purchased these because of the brown, not the green, so I don't really wanna see any of that. But I do wanna get this down up in here. This by itself with the brown and the terracotta, it's terracotta orange tangerine and I just love that. I want to add a few pieces here. Yeah, it does. It just gives it a different dimension. And I'm not trying to extend it. I'm just giving it a variation. These florals are made so well, even the green leaves are on wire. The green leaf can be turned. It can be turned and straightened because it is even on a wire. That's how well this is made. I just love this. Gosh, I, that's it. I'm gonna edit myself. These will be, the orchids will be available on the website. Child, I'm not gonna lie, but I believe they'll be available October 1st. Check it as soon as this video comes out because it may be uploaded on the website, creatingwithmimidecor.com. Creatingwithmimidecor.com. 
I'm gonna give a shout out to, uh, to Shira at Politics and Fashion. I think that's her show on YouTube because I'm getting ready to say that orange. She says it much better than me, but ciao, this is stunning. I will give you guys a full 360 of what this space looks like from the front door. I think I'm gonna add a couple of more things. I need to clean this up of the mess that I made. I'll add a few more because I do like to have things smell really nice in the entry. So I will place a candle here. Um, these two books, again, I shared with you guys. I don't know which video is coming out first, but my books have always been covered in craft paper, white. And then I will place the name of the author on the book or the title of the book on the outside. Let's see about this candle holder, just to tie in some of the black. Let's put it a little bit closer. And I'm not even sure if I'll put candles in here. I don't know, but we've got everything that I need. I am loving this. like this video hit that like button or subscribe you will be notified each time there is a new upload until next time make every day a great day